Hello, you're very welcome to our recorded carol service for St. Lawrence's Church in Chapel Lizard. And um, it's great that we've had a whole selection of people from the parish and from Chapel Lizard Community Choir who have recorded or been involved in recording of the Bible readings and some of the carols today, or many of the carols today. And we will use other carols from other sources as well. Um, I'm just going to say you're very welcome and I wish you a very happy Christmas um, and we'll light the Advent candle reminding us of the journey in many ways that we're about to begin in the story of the good news of the coming of Jesus. So we'll light the candle and say a wee prayer. God our Father, who spoke to the prophets of old of a saviour who would bring peace. You helped them to spread the joyful message of his com coming kingdom. Help us, as we prepare to celebrate his birth, to share with those around us the good news of your power and love. We ask this through Jesus Christ, who is the light coming into the world. Amen. I'll just say that you'll notice um, that many of us are wearing several layers of clothes because uh, we've been recording in the church with the doors open so that there's a good breeze coming through so that all will be safe. May God bless you this Christmas season. Beloved in Christ, be it this Christmas tide our care and delight to hear again the message of the angels and in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass and the babe lying in a manger. Therefore let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God, from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace on earth and goodwill from among all his people, for unity and brotherhood within the church he came to build, and especially in this village of Chapel Lizard, in the city of Dublin and Diocese of Dublin and Glendalough. And because this of all things will rejoice his heart, let us remember in his name the poor and helpless, the cold, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, all those who know not the Lord Jesus or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light. That multitude which no man can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom in the Lord Jesus we are forever one. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself hath taught us. Our Father, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the Almighty God bless us with his grace. Christ, give us the joys of everlasting life. And unto the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of Angels bring us all. Amen.
the fall. During the cool part of the day, the Lord God was walking in the garden. The man and the woman heard him, and they hid among the trees in the garden. The Lord God called to the man and said, Where are you? The man said, I heard you walking in the garden, and I was afraid. I was naked, so I hid. God said to the man, Who told you that you were naked? Did you eat fruit from that special tree? I told you not to eat from that tree. The man said, The woman you put here with me gave me fruit from that tree, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What have you done? She said, The snake tricked me, so I ate the fruit. So the Lord God said to the snake, You did this very bad thing. So bad things will happen to you. It will be worse for you than for any other animal. You must crawl on your belly and eat dust all the days of your life. I will make you and the woman enemies to each other. Your children and her children will be enemies. You will bite her child's foot, but he will crush your head. Good people all this Christmas time, consider well and bear in mind what our good God for us has done in sending his beloved Son. With Mary holy we should pray to God with love this Christmas day in Bethlehem. Many descendants 
descendants as your stars in the sky. There will be many people as sand on the seashore, and your people will live in cities that will take from their enemies. Every nation of the earth will be blessed through their descendants. I will do this because you obey me. Oh, 
gusty wind may blow And stood hard as iron Water like a stone Snow had fallen, snow on snow Snow on snow In the bleak midwinter Long ago Cherubim worship night and day, a breast full of milk and a manger full of hay. Enough for him whom angels fall down before. The ox and ass and camel which adore Ich 
Cognosun Dijaren Dijes Dilcha Farolas Bes Nin Biognil Kyanantas Que Christ na kola goshev, Christ na kola goshev. I hakyun, I havikte, Eri erdus. Kulen skel, Alleluia, Angelek glech. Kjanten surk, En jares again. Krist an slåna harfe, Christans lana har fein. I er hjun, i er vik dig. Kakne sund, de skjæren, de Shastilsha Farala Space Nin Kyanantas Christ Christ the Annunciation to Mary. During Elizabeth's six month of pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to a virgin girl who lived in Nazareth, a town in Galilee. She was engaged to marry a man named Joseph from the family of David. Her name was Mary. The angel came to her and said, Greetings, the Lord is with you. You are very special to him. But Mary was very confused about what the angel said. She wondered, What does this mean? The angel said to her, Don't be afraid, Mary, because is very pleased with you. Listen, you will become pregnant and have a baby boy. You will name him Jesus. He will be great. People will call him the Son of the Most High God. And the Lord God will make him king like his ancestor David. He will rule over people of Jacob forever. The kingdom will never end. Mary said to the angel, How will this happen? I am still a virgin. The angel said to Mary, The Holy Spirit will come to you, and, and the power of the Most, the most High, the Lord God, will cover you. The baby will be holy and will be called the Son of God. And here's something else. Your relative Elizabeth is pregnant. She is very old, but she is going to have a, ba a baby soon. Everyone thought she could not have a baby, but she has been pregnant now for six months. God can do anything. Mary said, I am Lord's servant. Let this thing you have said happen to me. Then the angel went away. The angel Gabriel from heaven came, his wings as drift as snow, his eyes as flame. All hail said he, thou lowly maiden Mary, most highly favoured lady, Blessed Mother, thou shalt be 
All generations, Lord, and honor Thee. Thy Son shall be Emmanuel, Thy seers foretold. Most highly favored Lady, Gloria. Then gentle Mary meekly bowed her head, to me be as it pleased God, she said, my soul shall load and magnify his holy name, most highly favored lady, Gloria, of her Emmanuel the Christ was born in Bethlehem all on a Christmas morn. And Christian folks throughout the world will ever sing, most highly favored lady, Gloria. The birth of an annual. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah happened. His mother Mary was engaged to marry Joseph, but before they married, he learned that she was expecting a baby. She was pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mary's husband Joseph was a good man. He did not want to cause her public disgrace, so he planned to divorce her secretly. But after Joseph thought about this, an angel from the Lord came to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to accept Mary to be your wife. The baby inside her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son. You will name him Jesus. Give him that name because he will save his people from their sins. All this happened to make clear the full meaning of what the Lord said through the prophet. The virgin will be pregnant and will give birth to a son. They will name him Emmanuel. And then in brackets, Emmanuel means God with us.
the shepherds go to the manger. That night some shepherds were out in the fields near Bethlehem watching their sheep. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the, and the, glory of the Lord was shining around them. The shepherds were very happy. The angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I have some very good news for you. News that will make everyone happy. Today, your Saviour was born in David's town. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This is how you will know him. You will find, him, you will find a baby wrapped in pieces of cloth lying in a manger. Then a huge army of angels from the heaven joined the first angel, and they were all praising God, saying, Praise God in heaven, on and on earth. Let there be peace to the people who please him. The angels left the shepherds and went back to heaven. The shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this great event the Lord has told us about. So they went running and found Mary and Joseph, and there was the baby lying in the manger. Exact time they first saw the star. 
Then he sent them to Bethlehem. He said, Go and look carefully for the child. When you find him, come tell me. Then I can go worship him too. After the wise men heard the king, they left. They saw the same star they had seen in the east, and they followed it. The star went before them until it stopped above the place where the child was. They were very happy and excited to see the star. The wise men came to the house where the child was with his mother, Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened the boxes of gifts they had brought for him. They gave him treasures of gold, frankincense and myrrh. We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we traverse afar Field and fountain, moor and mountain Following yonder star O oh, star of wonder, star of night Star with royal beauty bright Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Born a king on Bethlehem plain, called I bring to crown him again, king forever, ceasing ever, over us all to reign. Oh, star wonder star of night star with royal beauty bright westward leading still proceeding guide us to thy perfect light frankincense to offer have i incense owns a deity nigh Prayer and praising, all men raising, worship him, God most high. O oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Myrrh is mine, its bitter perfume Breathes a life of gathering gloom Sorrowing, sighing, bleeding, dying Sealed in the stone-cold tomb O oh, star of wonder, star of night Star with royal beauty bright Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Glorious now, behold him arise, King and God and sacrifice. Heaven sings Alleluia, Alleluia, the earth replies. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. A reading from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. 
He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. <laughs> 